Hello plant friends, Adina here from Plants Equals Happiness. In today's video, because last week was my birthday and um, I wanted a special Hoya to have in my collection and because it was my birthday I decided to buy it. First I want to show you some flowers that I have in my greenhouse, um, my Hoya Bella flowers and I have a special, um, I don't know if it's a, a cactus or succulent but I will show you. First, let's show you the Hoya Bella flowers. So, look how beautiful they are. I mean, Hoya Bella flowers, they are very um, common because they are, it's a very easy bloomer. But look how beautiful, beautiful. I am so happy when I see flowers. Very happy because my Hoya uh, sunrise I think is going to uh, bloom as well and I can wait for the blooms. Um, and I have a special surprise as well. My Hoya, look at that pedankal, I can wait for this Hoya to uh, flower. This is my Hoya Hawaiian um, purple, ha sorry, sorry, Hoya pubicalex um, Hawaiian royal purple, something like that. And you can see it's a very, very sun stress Hoya. And the new leaf uh, Hoya, they, uh, they are very, very dark uh, purplish um, violet color. I absolutely love, love, love this uh, uh, Hoya. I have a new leaf and I'm so happy because for a very very long time didn't do anything. This is my Hoya species Vietnam and look at that new leaf, I hope it's gonna stay because the tendril is absolutely so long and look at that how beautiful it is. I hope this uh, new leaf is going to grow. This is absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous Hoya. Look at that leaf. Very beautiful. In this greenhouse, uh, they start to grow already because now it's uh, springtime, but even though it's springtime, the temperature, oh my God, they are so low. So now they are 21 degrees, as you can see, and 48% uh, humidity. But during of the night, oh my God, the temperature, they are very low. That's why I still have a radiator in this greenhouse. This is absolutely a nightmare Hoya. This is my Hoya Archibaldiana, uh, variegated. Oh my God. I have this Hoya for years, years, and didn't do anything about it, absolutely nothing. And I decided to cut it. And as you can see, I put some sphagnum moss, maybe to get some roots on the node so I hope this Hoya is going to grow for me I have new growth and I'm so happy about it uh, this is Hoya I forgot the name and I think I didn't label it um, there is a green variety as well and this is more like a, a variegated uh, variety look how beautiful it is I love the green one as well I forgot the name, sorry. But beautiful, beautiful Hoya to have in your collection. And look at this beautiful Echeveria. I think this is Echeveria. As you can see, it has beautiful, beautiful uh, leaves and it's quite uh, ruffly as well. Oh, it doesn't say, it. they say Echeveria mix. Doesn't say what kind of Echeveria it is, but I absolutely love 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 this echeveria because i love the ruffly um, leaves look how beautiful it is very gorgeous beautiful um i have new hoyas that i want to show you to you this is very rare as well and i bought it because i love the name a hoya species high fong and look at those beautiful, beautiful uh, 
leaves. They are very uh, small, as you can see, they are not really big leaves, but they are very um, uh, sturdy, very beautiful. Why I hope this way is going to grow for me and give me new leaves. The next one, this is beautiful as well. I, as you can see, I have new uh, growth as well. This is my Hoya Waymania Splash. I mean, look at those leaves, how beautiful they are. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous leaves. And you can see the new growth as well. Very, very beautiful. Um, the next one, this is absolutely beautiful, beautiful Hoya. And I bought it because it uh, had uh, flowers. This is my Hoya uh, Croniana Silver, as you can see the peduncle. And look, I absolutely love, love, love this Hoya. Absolutely love this Hoya and I'm so happy to have it in my collection. I do have, I still have a few cuttings of this Hoya. Uh, it's getting rooted at the moment. But I wanted to have I wanted to have a full pot of this Hoya. Hoya Croniana Silver, if I remember. I think so, yeah. I do have few cuttings of this Hoya. And I hope it's going to get to roots. I mean, I love this Hoya. Love this Hoya very, 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 very much. Okay, uh, the next one, this is my Hoya Callistophila. I did had Hoya Callistophila before in my uh, um, collection, but I decided uh, didn't grow for me to be honest with you in that time, and I decided to purchase another one. Look how beautiful! I absolutely love Hoya Callistophila. I love Hoya Kalimantan as well. Um, I love uh, uh, Filansonia. Oh my God! I don't know. I love. I love the leaves. Absolutely beautiful. And I have Hoya Filansoniae. I mean, this is Hoya Filansoniae uh, Esta. Beautiful, beautiful leaves. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at that. I absolutely love this Hoya. I'm in love with this Hoya. I love it so much. It's absolutely a stunning, stunning Hoya. I had before uh, a Hoya Filansoniae cultivar, I forgot the name, I don't know if it was a Panga or Paga, but unfortunately it didn't survive the um, uh, winter. It was a very, very harsh winter, it didn't survive. And look at this beautiful, beautiful, they say uh, Leuciana uh, Mountain Dream, I mean look at those blooms. I bought this uh, plant only because of the blooms. Let me show you. I mean, look at how beautiful it is. I absolutely love the blooms. It's absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, plant. Uh, I think it's uh, more of a rocky plant. So this one grows uh, near the mountains because she loves I can see that she loves a very rocky um, soil. I mean, beautiful, very nice. The next one, I know it's very common, and I know everybody, they love this plant. This is my Hoya Australis. I mean, this is a very common, I forgot to label it. This is very common Hoya Australis, but I absolutely love it. I still, I did had a Hoya Australis, but unfortunately it didn't survive the cold. So I had so many Hoyas that they didn't survive. I mean, look at this Syngonium. I absolutely love it. This is Syngonium Milk Confetti. I mean, look at those splashes, how beautiful they are. I absolutely love, 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 love this Syngonium. And it's new in my collection. It's fairly new in my collection. Very, very beautiful. I do have a Syngonium confetti as well, 
but as you can see the milk confetti it's lighter in uh, a color the leaves they are a little bit lighter but I will show you I will show you Syngonium confetti as you can see the leaves they are a little bit darker I mean look how beautiful and look at this one this is the newest leaf in my uh, in uh, Syngonium confetti I love 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 this plant I absolutely love this plant it was big big and bushy but I decided to uh, cut it very beautiful another beautiful Hoya and uh, very new in my connection this is my Hoya Burtoniei so Burtoniei variegated I mean look at those beautiful variegation I mean not all of them they have I can see this is a green one so maybe I have a green one and I have a variegated one as well but I still have a green one as well absolutely love 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 this type of uh, Hoya Hoya Bertonie very beautiful I have a beautiful uh, Maranta uh, Kerchoviana variegated look how beautiful they are and as you can see give me new growth and I am absolutely loving it I have a terrarium as well and in this jar I have a fern I have a, f a crocodile fern I have a beautiful um, I think this is a pickle uh, succulent. I don't know what is this one. This is definitely is not. Um, I forgot the name now. Um, but it's growing so beautifully. I love the variegation on the leaves. This is not a Fitonia, no, it's not a Fitonia. The name is different. It looks like one, but it's not. But I absolutely love this uh, terrarium. It's growing so beautifully. Okay, let's carry on. Let's see what else do I have in this uh, greenhouse. I'm gonna uh, save uh, the most beautiful Hoyas, uh, the final, uh, my final uh, video. This is my Hoya Hippolasia. I mean, look at that. Look how beautiful the leaves are. I absolutely love this Hoya. And I had it before, but unfortunately didn't survive the cold. And even my Hoya Caudata, which I absolutely love. And I don't know if you can see the new growth. Oh. Again, I had a full plant of Hoya Caudata and didn't survive the, um, the winter. Many Hoyas didn't survive the winter and I was really, really upset. Oh, the next one, this is absolutely gorgeous. And this is my Hoya Affinity Lambii Red. I mean, look how beautiful the leaf is. I just uh, put it in sphagnum moss. Maybe it's going to get root, but because uh, I bought it uh, on an unrooted cutting and I hope it's going to grow for me. The next one, I mean, look at this leaf. Looks like unreal. This is Hoya Clemensiorum. I mean, I have two uh, leaf uh, cutting and I place it in uh, sphagnum moss and I hope they will gonna get roots. I mean, absolutely beautiful. Look how, how beautiful, very, very gorgeous. I absolutely love, love, love this soil. This, uh, I can see this is sun stress. This is uh, a little bit, but not that much. I want to see growth on this beautiful Clemenciaro. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous Hoya. 
the next one this is beautiful as well this is my Hoya Serpents I absolutely love this Hoya and I do have few Hoya Serpents in my uh, in this greenhouse I don't know why I love the dainty leaves and I will show you the new growth as well I mean absolutely gorgeous can you see the new growth I mean this Hoya is so so beautiful it's absolutely beautiful beautiful Hoya love it the next one this is my Hoya uh, Gunungading as you can see just one leaf cutting but I love to have in my collection just baby uh, Hoyas so I can grow them to be a uh, big uh, Hoya one day this is another favorite of mine and I'm so happy that I have it. This is my Hoya Nicholsonia in New Guinea Ghost. I mean, look at those leaves. Absolutely beautiful. And I have new growth as well, which makes me more happy. I absolutely love, love, love this Hoya. I don't know why, but I absolutely in love with this Hoya. And very happy that I have it in my collection. And I hope you love the cute uh, pot, which I uh, bought it. Uh, uh, as a birthday uh, present I have so I bought so many things because I received uh, two uh, vouchers and of course I went to TK Maxx because I absolutely love TK Maxx TK Maxx it's my number one in uh, pots for plants if you want to buy beautiful pots next one and of course the pot as well, not only Hoyas, but I will show you the Hoyas first. This is my Hoya Polynura complex. I had this one before, but unfortunately again, didn't survive the winter. I hope this one is gonna grow and give me new beautiful uh, leaves. I mean, it's absolutely a beautiful, beautiful Hoya. I love the leaves. I love the way, the shape of the leaf as well. Look how beautiful it is. It's very pointy. This is what I love. And the next one, which the flowers, they're absolutely gorgeous. This is my Hoya Amicabilis. And I hope it's going to flower for me because it's absolutely gorgeous. And of course, I hope you like the pot as well, which is, uh, they say, plant lady. I put some leka, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. So I, I hope these two Hoyas, they will thrive for me because I absolutely love both of them. And I hope this one is gonna uh, flower for me because the flowers, they're absolutely gorgeous. They are, they are yellow flowers, absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful flowers. And the leaves, they are so beautiful. They are like bay leaf, something like that. Yes, absolutely gorgeous. So let's carry on and I will show you the rest of my beautiful Hoyas. This is absolutely beautiful as well. This is my Hoya Fusco Marginata Splash. And I will show you absolutely gorgeous. You can see the splash, how beautiful they are. Very, very beautiful. I can't wait for this Hoya to grow. As you can see, all my Hoyas, they are in uh, pawn. Because Hoya loves, loves uh, pawn. She doesn't love her roots to uh, be waterlogged, so that's why I place them in pawn. This is the safest uh, soil for them. The next one, this is my Hoya Ubergie, which of course I had it before, but unfortunately didn't uh, survive. And I have two leaf cutting absolutely love this Hoya. This Hoya sun stress beautifully. I absolutely love when this Hoya sun stress. They have reddish, uh, reddish, yeah, purplish color. Very beautiful. Let's carry on. This is absolutely gorgeous as well. And this is Hoya species uh, Flores Island. I mean, look at those wanky uh, leaves. I absolutely love wanky leaves uh, to, in Hoya. 
and this one tick all the boxes and of course it has a really really long vine I hope it's going to grow for me beautifully and I'm sure in this greenhouse is going to grow very very beautifully the next one this is absolutely gorgeous as well and I wanted to have this one in my uh, collection this is I will show you this is my Hoya Mirabiles. They say long leaves. I do have Hoya Mirabiles. I will show you the other one that I have. And the one that it's new in my collection. As you can see, the leaves, they are quite the same, but um, this one, it's really sun stress because she, uh, she receive a lot of uh, sun. This one is not sun stress yet, but for sure is going to. I mean, look at those leaves. Love Hoya Mirabiles, and I love Hoya Mirabiles flowers. I hope this one is going to grow for me. And it's going to give me new, beautiful, beautiful uh, leaves. This is Hoya Mirabiles. Doesn't say, but the leaves, they are not really that um, big, as you can see that one. And as you can see this one. If I can compare it, I absolutely love this one as well. I love, love, love this one. This is absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous Hoya to have in your collection because it's um, it's unique. I love the shape of the leaves. Very beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. The next one, this is beautiful as well. And... Uh, as you can see, I place it in sphagnum moss and I put some pawn on top of it. This is my Hoya. I forgot, I have two cups. This is my Hoya Archobaldiana. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. Very, very beautiful. And the, the, tre the um, vine, it's very, very long as well. I hope this one is going to grow for me. As you can see, the vine, it's really, really long. I hope it's going to grow and I hope it's going to thrive. I absolutely love, love, love this Hoya. Very beautiful. As you can see, the leaves, they, are, they have like a dark um, green color, which I absolutely love. Another Hoya that I absolutely love. And I hope it's going to grow for me. This is my Hoya Pandurata. I mean, this is more like a green uh, variety. Look how beautiful it is. I know there is Pandurata Splash as well, which I absolutely love, love, love that Pandurata Splash. But this is more like a green, uh, um, a, a green variety. Very beautiful. Another Hoya that is absolutely gorgeous. This is my Hoya. Um, I forgot her name, to be honest with you. Yeah, and I didn't label. Because uh, the, the seller, when they send this Hoya to me, um, it was in soil. When I decided to just place it in pond, the stem was absolutely dry and uh, I decided, oh my God, I hope I can save this Hoya. And it was a little bit dehydrated as well. Um, oh my God, I cannot remember the name as well. It really uh, slips my mind. But it's absolutely gorgeous. And this one as well. Oh my God. You can see it's, I hope it's going to get roots. But this is a very beautiful Hoya as well. And this is um, very, very rare as well. As you can see, it's getting a little bit yellow in the middle there. But it's in sphagnum moss. I hope it's going to... Um, I'm not sure if it's Fusco Marginata, Splash. Anyway, I don't want to guess. I hope it's going to get roots. The leaves, they are a little bit uh, soft. 
but I hope, and this one, this is uh, a little bit soft as well. I hope they will uh, get roots because this is uh, something that when you buy, you don't really see a Hoya uh, inside of the pot. This is another Hoya Kodata um, cutting that I bought. And as you can see, it's rooting in sphagnum. I can't wait for this Hoya to grow. I absolutely love Hoya Kodata. It's absolutely one of my favorite. Very beautiful absolutely gorgeous so let's carry on these uh, last ones they're absolutely the best ones this is my Hoya Inflata why I bought this Hoya I bought this Hoya for of course for the beautiful beautiful leaf but for their uh, flowers as well Hoya Inflata they have beautiful, beautiful yellow flowers, which they look like lily of the valley, absolutely gorgeous. But the the flowers, they're absolutely amazing. But even the foliage, even the leaf leaves, they are absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love, love, love this Hoya. And my last one, which was my wishing list, on my wishing list for a very long time because it was so expensive to buy. This is my Hoya Silver Dollar. Look how amazing this leaf is. Absolutely beautiful. I can wait for this Hoya to grow, to give me new leaves. I do have uh, my Hoya Grey Ghost and my Hoya... Mm. so this is my Hoya Carnosa Grey Ghost which is absolutely gorgeous and I do have a cutting of that one as well look how beautiful it is I hope this one is gonna grow for me and I have my Hoya Carnosa Nova Ghost I always forget the name, which is absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Both of them, they're absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at those leaves. Very, very beautiful. And of course, I wanted a Hoya Silver Dollar. A few years ago, you could not even get close to this Hoya, but because it was my birthday, and it, it had absolutely beautiful beautiful price and of course i um, debated <laughs> in the beginning because the price was quite uh, affordable but i wanted less than the price it was and the seller agreed and look i still i have my wish list hoya this is my Hoya Silver Dollar, and I hope and pray I can see roots. You can see roots. This uh, Hoya is going to grow for me. I absolutely love, love, love this Hoya. But there is another two wish list Hoya that I want them, and one of them is my Hoya Polynura uh, Album Arginata. I hope one day I'm gonna have the Hoya Polynura Album Arginata and my Hoya Carnosa Argentia Princess, which, oh my God, and even that one, you cannot get close. But one day I will, because even this one, it was, oh my God, so popular a few years ago and everybody wanted, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I wanted this one for such a long time and I have it. I'm so happy. This is absolutely stunning beautiful gorgeous and I have it and I hope it's going to grow going to give me beautiful leaves like my Hoya Carnosa Nova Ghost and the other one my Grey Ghost which is I absolutely love absolutely love 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 beautiful gorgeous uh, okay Oh, and of course, my Hoya Kentiana, variegated. And the next one, oh no, this is Lori Lynn. Yeah, yeah, this is Lori Lynn. I mean, look at that beautiful, beautiful 
new growth that she gave me. Very stunning, absolutely gorgeous, stunning, stunning. And of course, Hoya Kentiana variegating. I still have this one as well. And I'm so happy that I have. And I have a regular Hoya Kentiana as well. I absolutely love Hoya Kentiana. Very beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful Hoya. Yeah. So, that's it really. I will show you again my Hoya Clemenciorum. Look how beautiful they are. Absolutely gorgeous. And even this Hoya Lambiai, so beautiful. As you can see, it's sun stress as well. Very, very beautiful. And again, my Hoya Silver Dollar. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. So that's it, really. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, Please like or subscribe to my YouTube channel, Adina Kikiro Plants equals happiness. My channel is all about um, uh, house plants, Komuro Rare, Hoyas, that are my number one passion, uh, planters and uh, pots. And uh, see you in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please subscribe because I want to reach 500 subscribers and maybe hopefully one day a thousand. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day. Bye.